Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. It is actually Saturday today. It's a it's a beautiful day. The sun's starting to come out. It is 3 p.m. and I am just getting out into the garden and that is because of course it's that season of our lives. We have kids sports every weekend. And so this weekend it was opening day for softball. Sadie is doing softball this season, which is super exciting because Jason and I both really like it. Um, and so, you know, there was the parade and there was all the celebrations and uh, and the snack bar and then their first game. So we had a lot of fun. Um, Sadie is at her teammate's house right now, so she's not back, but I'm gonna take the couple hours that I have before I lose light. Uh, it is the day before for, I, I guess you call it daylight savings for the springtime. But we have an extra hour of light start at the in the evening starting tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. So I have a couple hours today to get some stuff done. Jason is working on some stuff in the backyard. He wants to cut off that metal pipe by the Vigo bar garden beds, which I'm very excited about. And then if we have time, he's gonna help me set up the fountain in the secret shade garden, which would be amazing. What I wanna tackle is this. This has been on my to-do list for a while. We are are so close we're so almost done uh, but you can see it's just the last bit that I have to finish off I have to I have to figure out how to make it look nice um, and then if I have time also I want to spray some mulch glue so I keep saying if I have time just based on the light and how much light we'll have hey hey so what are you gonna work on the I'm going to chop off that pipe that is dangerous yeah where that funny plant is planted hey I tried <laughs> It I worked. Can't, I, it didn't work. <laughs> I couldn't keep it watered. It was like struggling for dear life. So what's the tool that you bought for this? What's it called? Well, I bought an angle grinder, but I don't know that I'm going to use it on the pipe. I might use the reciprocating saw for that. Oh, okay. We'll see how it, it's got a metal blade on it. So I don't know. We'll see if it's strong enough or not. Okay. And then I could try to use the angle grinder, but it's going to be a little awkward. So we'll oh, see. Okay. Um, and then can you help me put the fountain together? Yes, we can do that. Okay. That'll look nice. I know. I want to see that actually assembled. And I know. And then I'm going to try and work on this. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try. This will be all right. I'm going to take out that wood piece. Yeah. Right? And then I can do another row. Will it fit totally? Have you measured it? No. I think it'll be, I think it might fit. Maybe we, maybe we can use the grinder to grind off little edges if we need to. Right? No? I don't know if that's the right trick for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll try. Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay, we're back here by the Vigo beds. I'm going to film Jason first because I want to get this on camera. So let me show you all. This is the model pipe that we're talking about. We have a bunch of these sticking up all over. Excuse this is the you. only really tall one. Yeah, it, it's like they tried to cut some of them off but didn't get all the way. So I had a genius idea to plant a Nicotiana in it. And it didn't quite work. You can see how the plant's doing. <laughs> so now we're gonna try and cut it off, which which is safer anyway, right? Yeah, it should be cut off. Okay. All right, I'm gonna stand back. Come here, Bubba. Come sit. Can you sit? Hey, show everyone you can sit. <gasps> Good boy. Good sit. Good sit. That's a good spot. Perfect. It's thick. Is it all hot right now? Probably. Yeah. And then you'll grind down the it's sharp thick. edges. I'll just grind that. Yeah. All right. While he does that, finishes working on that, I'm going to get started on the patio. Um, so the guys, uh, Isaac and Milo, they laid the rest of this patio a couple, like a week or so ago. And it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. We just put in the concrete pavers. Um, first, we put a layer of uh, aggregate base down at the bottom. That's the most important part. Make sure that that's level, tamp it down. So water it a little bit and then tamp it down. Then you put the concrete pavers on and then you fill the gaps with three eighths inch decomposed granite. Uh, you can do pea gravel if you want like uh, the pea gravel look, but I just kind of wanted something to match the rest of the decomposed granite pathways. So it was a pretty straightforward job 
from there all the way to here. Really, it, the, the squares fit perfectly along this side. The problem is, is that now that we've gotten to the end where the driveway starts, it's just not really quite fitting up exactly the way that, you know, we want it to. So these are 12 by 12 uh, concrete pavers. I could cut them, but I don't think they'll cut very cleanly. And I don't know if that will look, <sighs> I don't know. The problem is, is see, it's kind of like that. So it doesn't quite fit. It's very close. I wonder if, I wonder what that side, it's also not straight, which is another problem. Let's see. Well, that side fits. Hmm. So I basically have two options or three options, I should say. First option is, is that I try and use the grinder that Jason doesn't want to use and try and grind off pieces of the tile or the pavers and try and fit them in there. Um, option number two is I can turn the pavers like this and kind of cap it off with a line of them that way. I don't think I want to do that because I think it kind of messes up the, um, the look, you know, like I think it would be fine, but I, that's just not really my favorite option. The third option is that I just fill this up with the three eighths inch decomposed granite and just kind of have a blank space right there. Now I'm kind of leaning towards that option because you have to remember what's going to be here. Um, you know, the next step I am going to have like this basically a pergola made with a gate and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to have like a post there, a post there, a post there, and a post there. Um, so cutting the pavers and then basically taking them out and putting posts in, it's kind of like, it's kind of a waste of time. So it wouldn't be a bad idea if I just had kind of like a threshold of three eighths inch gravel. I hope this makes any sense and I hope you all can imagine it. Uh, it's just so hard to explain. So out of those three options, I'm leaning towards the one of just filling this up and not putting putting an extra row of pavers, but I have the pavers and I have the grinder and I might as well try that, that option and see if I can make it work. And then if it doesn't work, then I can always just kind of fill this in and be done with it. So with the grinder tool, I'm going to try and, um, I'm going to make, I'm going to try and make little cuts and see how close I can get it and then see how that looks. I hope this all makes sense. You will see it in action right now. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a pain. All right, so this is where we ended up. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay with it. These two pavers, we could just, just leave. There was enough room for them just to go there. There was enough room for one to go right there, but we ended up cracking one of them, and I don't have another one, and I don't want to bother going to buy more because I don't think that cutting them really works very well. So we were able to grind just a teeny little piece off of that one and a little bit bigger piece off of that one just to make it fit. It's not, it's like, it's not my favorite, but it's the, I feel like it's the best that we can do. And then we're just going to leave a blank space here and a blank space here. And I don't care about that because remember the little patio, um, what do you, the pergola gate, the post is going to go here. A post is going to go here. And then another post somewhere, however long or deep we decide to do it, it's going to go here and then here. I don't know the dimensions of it yet, but I know it is going to span this whole area. So eventually there's going to be a post there and there. So I don't really care that there's not pavers right there. Does that make sense? Monty? Monty, don't steal my chalk. Come here. Good boy. Thank you. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the aggregate base right here and I'm gonna fill it in the gaps, all the gaps that are left 
all over here. I'm gonna fill it underneath, make sure that all these pavers are level. And my most important, my top priority is I want them, I want it to be level onto the concrete. You see right there? I want it to be level so that nobody trips on a lip or anything like that. Um, so I feel like this is gonna take the longest time. And then I will fill in the gaps with the decomposed granite. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. It's level. Jason's super happy with it, so that's good. Um, I was planning to do the gl mulch glue, but then I realized that there was like a nice layer of dirt over all of the pavers. So I went through and I rinsed all them off, and then I started rinsing this off, and I didn't realize how much dirt was right here. Look at that. I mean, look at that. So I'm gonna have to get the power washer out and I can't put the mulch glue on until everything dries anyway. So this is where we ended up with the patio. I think it looks really good. I'm really, really happy with it. Again, still gotta do mulch glue, still gotta get the power washer out, but at this point, I'm happy with how this looks. And then it's going to turn into the decomposed granite right here. Um, I will wait for it all to dry. I, you know, I'm gonna do the power washer another day, and then I have to wait for it all to dry before I do the mulch glue. So that's getting put on the back burner. Jason finished with the pipe back by the Vigo garden beds. I'll show you all that in a second, but right now, we are going to get this fountain up and running. So the pump goes down here. And then the, the lion's head has the tube that will connect right to there. Okay. And then this piece just goes right over it. Oh, I see. Just to cover it like that. Gotcha. Right? Yep. And so it should be pretty easy. So yeah, yeah. Okay. now we just have to get the lion's head, feed the tube. The tube through. Yeah. And then hook it up. Can you come help us? Okay, there's a tube right here. Daddy and I are gonna lift this heavy thing up. It's super heavy, right? All you have to do is once we lift it up, you take this tube and you stick it down through this hole and then you get back out of the way, okay? Yeah, once it's in there, get your hand out of the way, okay? Just grab the tube. So you know. Make sure I grab the tube. We'll tell you. We'll tell you. Okay. So that's it. Okay, tube. Tube. Done. Good job. Move. No, get out of the way. Get out of the way. There you go. That. Yep. Good job, sweetheart. Nice! Okay, is that all? You're done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
some hair. That one's needs to be. No, it 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 has a tube. It just needs to be like cleared. You're right, right. So I'll clear it with this. You can clear it with that. Yeah. Not even have to do it. So yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, smart. There we go. You got the pump on, do you? Not yet. Okay, ready? Ready? Uh -oh. <laughs> I think it's a little too strong. Yep. <laughs> You might want to turn down that pump a little buddy. bit. Ah! <laughs> sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have the pump. The pump is on max, so you got to turn it down like more than halfway. Okay, you know what? I'm going to start it. And no, then... no, no. What? what? Why? Because so I'll know where to turn it down. Oh, okay. There we go. But you want it to go in the... There you go. That's, I think that's as low as it'll go. No. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> oh, me. Do you watch? If I pinch it? No. <laughs> it didn't do anything. What if you close it all the way? Does it just It's turn closed off? all the way. Well, you try. I think it's closed all the way. Okay, unplug the thing. It's closed all the way. Well, need a wider pump. How about that? When do you ever need a weaker something? I don't know. I'm tempted to switch pumps. With the uh with the other yeah. fountain pump. Yeah. Alright, well <laughs> the fountain works. <laughs> it works very well. Oh what? What happened? I don't know. No, it just hasn't built up yet. Watch, it'll get stronger. <laughs> what happened? Don't touch it. Nobody touch it. I don't understand. I don't either. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> don't. Nobody touch this. Did you get a super power pump? I don't. I didn't think so. <laughs> Looks nice. Oh, but now it's getting stronger. Why is it getting stronger? I don't know. That doesn't. That's not right. It's like, did you have it turn a certain way to decrease the power? It's so close to being good. Whoa, hummingbird. You see this? A hummingbird just flew right next to you. Oh, hi! It's water, I know. I bet I mean, you. That's pretty close. It's but... very close, but it's just splashy. Shouldn't be splashy. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Where He's is it? Right next to you. Right there. He just he was like uh, two feet from your face a second ago. I know it's so close. It's just splashy. It shouldn't be splashy. It was so good for a minute, and then. Sir. What'd you do? When I straighten out the pump, the the. Oh. So it's got to be. It's interesting. So it, when it's straight, it doesn't build up pressure. Yeah, I thought pinching it off would. But no, when you remember when you pinched it, it made it worse, huh? No. So. Uh, that looks good. Yeah, it looks great. This is loud. We need more of these things around our property. To deaden out a lot. Drown out the rest of the town. You like it? You love it's right outside your window. It's pretty hot. Open your window. See if you can hear it. What do you think? I love it. You it's right outside your window. You can leave your window open a little bit at night and you can listen to it. Yeah. Hi Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey likes it too. Do you like it? He's been snuggling. Do you like it? You're so cute. Oh, I was just watching Nar Narnia. Yeah. And the lion looks just like Aslan. Yeah, we yeah. can name him Aslan. Oh, yeah. Right? Aslan. I love it. It's beautiful. Thanks, Robbie. Robbie helped deliver this. What do you think? It's nice. I know. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, Sound is nice. It's so pretty. I'm very happy with it. All right, so we've got the front patio. 90% done. Fountain, 90% done. Just have to cover this thing. <laughs> and, but you're done with yours, right? With the, the pipe? It's all flush. Let's go look.
All right, so we're over here by the Vigo Garden Bed. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks it really good. It looks a little bit up, but it's really not. It's smooth. Yeah, you're right. That's really good. You did great. Yeah. How so, are... Uh, oh, I didn't even notice that one. That Monty, watch out, Monty. Monty, there we go. <laughs> I didn't even notice that one. We're going to have to fill that. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Next time we get wood chips, I think I want to cover this whole area with wood chips. Really? Yeah. What do you think? I just think it'll be nice, like, uh, softer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because this whole area is going to be covered with wood chips, and then this whole area... Where all this rock is right here, this is all going to be covered with wood chips. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> good plan. Wood chips are free, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's a good price. Right? And then it just will soften everything. So, and then I'm going to do like a little stepping stone pathway just for now. Just because that'll be, that'll be nice and cheap and pretty. Right? Pretty. 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 And cheap. And pretty. <laughs> It's amazing what you can do in just a couple hours. I don't think we started until three and now it's about 5.30. So two and a half hours, we finished the patio. Jason ground down this metal pipe that has been bugging me for a while uh, and we got the fountain all hooked up. So awesome, I'm super happy. I'm gonna be even happier when I have an extra hour of light in the evenings, but that comes tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.